Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide makeover comes from a slide that I did for client training presentation earlier this year and it's a great example of what happens when we try to present numeric data. Let's take a look at this slide. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, what happened here was that we wanted to present some information and we had it in Excel. This is actually, the, the numbers you see here are actually dropped in from an Excel spreadsheet. And what happens is we just, we copy a whole bunch of cells and drop them in and then hope that the decision makers figure out what we're talking about. A few things here. First of all, there are way too many numbers. There's no way that as an audience member I can figure out what it is that, that you're really trying to say here. And I don't know which numbers are relevant. Are, is the first column, is a certain row relevant? And there, there's red. You're using red for some numbers. Is that important or not? Well, actually the red comes from a default in, uh, in Excel, whereas if it's a negative number, it puts it in red and in brackets because that's an accounting standard. Well, accounting is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about customer numbers. We're not talking about dollars and cents. So when I look at this particular slide, let's take that off again. Let's take a look at it. A few things that I see here. First of all, what actually is happening is that there are three regions that we're looking at, Everett, Redmond, Seattle, and Bellingham, and then there's a consolidated number. So it seems to me that I would want to explain or, or discuss each of the regions perhaps or, or the regions in general before I look at the consolidated but again that's not apparent by the way that it's been treated here and we don't know which number is important actually the importance here is the variance that is what we want to focus on because we're part way through the year and we want to say here's where we are variance uh, actual versus plan but we need to be able to do something about that variance in the rest of the year. Again, that's not clear. So let me show you how I created a slide that I think is more meaningful. First thing, I have a clear headline. Basic and online customer numbers above budget, digital falling short of budget. So that's going to be the headline. That's what we're going to discuss. Now, what I would do is to present it in this way. Folks, we're looking at our customer numbers uh, up to the, pre the recent month, and our basic and online numbers, they're okay, but our digital, we're, we're really falling short. Here are each of our regions individually, and the numbers that are doing well, uh, all the basic numbers and two of the three online numbers. The numbers that are not doing well is the online number in Seattle and all of the digital areas. So when we look at this, uh, we're looking at the variance between actual and budget. If we consolidate it for an, our entire region, we can see that uh, basic and online are still holding uh, really positive, but that digital number is really an area we're going to have to focus on. How can we take some steps to turn that around in the rest of the year? So what I did is, is I created a table that is easier to understand. I pulled just the variance numbers in and put the text down at the bottom to say what it is we're looking at and then use the graphical arrows to indicate which ones were positive, that's green, that's normally a positive color, and the red indicated these are not good numbers. I presented the three areas, uh, the three regions individually first, and then the consolidated number, and now we understand where we need to focus in our efforts for the rest of the year when it comes to customers. So some lessons from this particular makeover. When you're presenting numbers, focus on the meaning of the numbers. The numbers alone are not important, it's the meaning. Don't include a number unless it's relevant to the point that you're making. That first slide that had all those numbers, uh, the budget, the variance, all that sort of stuff, what was not relevant are the, the source numbers. What was relevant is the difference because that was the most important number that we had to look at to indicate that importance or, or emphasize the importance use a visual now the, the previous slide I used a very simple visual simply the arrows going up or down and the color that's all I needed to use to give the audience the impression of what the importance of those numbers were and you also notice I used builds so I showed the numbers and I showed the arrows moving in the direction so that we got the impression whether it was going up or down and then I built the entire consolidated area so that we could look at that as a whole. So that's how you take numbers 
and focus on the meaning so it's relevant to your audience. For more information on the work that I do, the training workshops, consulting, books, videos, go to my websites www.visualslidevolution.com or www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Thanks, this is Dave Parody again. See you next time.